Hey, what's up, happy people? It is 11.22 in the morning, and I just got a picture of that big ol' hog. But the problem is it's three hours north, and it's already 11.30, so we have one day to get it done. Today is the one-day challenge. I'm gonna walk in here, I'm gonna buy a bow, I'm gonna set it up, I'm gonna sight it in, and I'm gonna hunt this afternoon. Can I get the job done in one day? I've been shooting dropaways for a long time, but Austin Crockerton, he, he convinced me to try the whisker biscuit. So, this is what we're gonna try. This quiver right here is super easy and very quiet on and off the bow. It's also got a light. So when you're hanging up in the early morning, it's got just a little light. It's more than just quiver, man. This is a tool. This is Thad right here. Hey. This guy is awesome. So him and Harvey run the whole bow shop back here. I always come back here, I say hey, and uh, this place is really good. This is the Bass Pro on Gatlin. How long will it take us to set the bow up? 30 minutes, man. Okay, let's get going. One day, we got one day. It's so funny that today, literally this afternoon, I'll be hunting with this bow. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's been 30 minutes, Doug. You've done a great job. This is a one day challenge, and we are now all hunting. Hey, if I get one, I'm gonna come get you. All right? Sounds good. All right. What are you doing? You just like have that eye about you, don't you? Hi, what was going Can I help you? Yeah, can I have a fish sandwich value meal with the iced tea? You say fish sandwich? Large. Then I'll take a big boar hog with a, I just drilled them. Oh, right. never mind, never mind, never mind. That's later. <laughs> I'll take two double stacks. This is way faster than sitting down. I want to have plenty of time to sight my bow in and get ready to shoot. I can kill one right now. <laughs> That's straight out of the box. That's an oracle too. I was like, I'll oh, just see it shoots. Perfect out of the box. That's 33 yards. The bow is shooting dead on. We're ready to go. Um, we just got Mav this. We're only gonna have this when we go to the woods and we're hunting. Any other time, that will not be on him. We got a full tank of gas and we're ready to go. Thanks, Bobo. This is our Ford Escort.
ready or what? You ready or what? Yeah, you're ready. Look at you. You're ready. Let's go find a hog, huh? You ready? You ready to go find a hog? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, he's ready to go. You got your four-wheel drive on? Let's do it. <laughs> he's like, I know y'all were down this way. I'm going to go check. Dang. <laughs> he's like, I know y'all shot one down this road somewhere. Dead gummit. What the heck? Easy, e easy. Hey, you want to find a hog? You want to find a hog? Okay, cool. This is a food plot. He's never trailed a hog in his life. This is one thing's for certain. We're back here trailing this hog and we find this tree and you can see acorns all over this tree. So I pull an onyx and I go, add waypoint, oak tree. Great. Now we know that this is an oak tree that's gonna be dropping acorns. And on this property, that's a rarity. Most of these trees don't have acorns. This is gonna be a good one. You have plenty of open areas. You can see that way, that way, and that way. Figure out your wind, get in here, climb a tree. A lot of good trees to climb with your climber, and uh, this is a heck of a good spot. My mama taught me a long time ago, if you don't succeed, no, 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 what she taught me was that if you fail, you try it, try again until you succeed. Everything was perfect. I drilled the hog, made a perfect shot, I thought. But for some reason, I must have hit the shoulder bone. Well, we looked and looked and looked. Could not find hog. Hey, Bobo, come here. Yeah. See this? This is my car. We call this thing Baymax. This is, what is this? This is a Buick Encore. It's a Buick Encore. People see me driving around town, they're like, that guy looks like near me, but he would definitely not drive that. I love this car. It gets great gas mileage. It's easy to get in, easy to get out. It, you collect Ford Escorts. I do. I've got a. I've What's got your a, favorite Ford Escort? They're all my favorite. How can you pick one? I, I drop a thumbs up if you too would love to see his Ford Escorts. If you'd like to see me drive, I want to get uh, like an '86 hatchback with chrome wheels and a spoiler on it. Do you want the spinner rims too? If yeah. yeah. Okay. And we can and we can do the outdoor package where you have the. <laughs> The bazooka tube and make everybody <laughs> mad when you're hunting. <laughs> I would love that. Man. I would love that. We today, my heart goes out to everybody in the West Coast, the Big Bend. We had a hurricane go through. We got pictures of hogs and we came up here to check camp. But we're gonna have day two challenge. Day one was a failure. But you're continuing to watch the video because now it's day two. Let's get on the side by side and go hunt. Austin, he just says, draw your bow. So I'm not gonna ask questions. One thing's important. When you're hunting with your friends, it's okay to mess around. But in prime time, listen. He didn't like try to explain things to me. He said, draw your bow. And what I do, I drew my bow and out walked an absolute hammer. I, and I, I was shooting right here. I was like, no, I'm not gonna hit that. And I just waited for him to clear that. This is meant for uh, for deer. So they planted it, they drilled it, and the hogs have been like annihilating it. I just wanna go back and find out, is there blood? 
because now we find out how good this broadhead really is. <laughs> that hog right there is not what you want to walk into alive in a palmetto patch. So, hey, if you were here, drop a thumbs up if you want to do this. The guy who has this ranch, his name is Dalton. This is the CC family farm. It's 3,000 acres in the house is amazing. If you want to come here, not during deer season, and go on an epic hog hunt, free range epic hog hunt, the, the links will be in the description below. And he has no idea that I'm like linking him. He has no idea I gave him this plug, but I'm honored to be a part of this place. I'm honored to use the house, and I'm honored to be here with you. We obviously know he crossed right here. We have blood right here. The key is to back out. We're gonna get light, give him a little bit of time, and we'll come back. I'll leave the bow right here. This is my bear execute, brand spanking new on day two. I didn't get it on, done on day one, but I got it done even better on day two. Hey, you, you wanna go trail hog? Yeah. Hop in. Does have rattlesnakes. Huh? I said this property definitely has rattlesnakes. One thing that's very important when you come hunting in the south, A, it is super hot, it's humid, and you've got to have a good light. We have tons of grass, and although this hog is bleeding good, it's hard tracking. So this light is a number one. There's a hog right there. You can see right here where the, this hog, there's tons of rooting in here. This is all from hogs just like this. Unbelievable. I may not have got it done on day one, but day two is wonderful. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We're gonna head back to camp and uh, we're gonna clean this hog up and then tomorrow we're gonna cook it. I appreciate you guys being a part of this. Hey, leave in the comments below if you wish you were here. If you wanna come out to this camp, hey, might be possible. We'll see you guys soon. And that right there is the man, Dalton. Sure. Hey, we're, we're, we're the water team. We're part of the water team. We fixed the water <laughs> on the house. We had changed the pump today. We've just had a good time, man. It's a day two challenge. If you guys want to see the whole cleany part, it'll be in the description below. But well, we're going to do it fast. So if you want to watch how we just clean a hog at camp and then go in and cook, hey, it'll be in the description below. If not, we'll see you in the kitchen. I've only ever done this with like cold fat back. So if this is cold, it becomes very easy to cut. Uh, in this circumstance, we don't care. We're just going to try it anyway. So, if you find a hair, it shows up really good on the uh. And then all you do is you get pieces. Where, where did that come from? And you get pieces like this. And just like the name implies, it's fat back. Put it in there, just like that. So I think these hogs, they grow to like 80 or 100 pounds fast. And then from 100 to 200, they slow down. And from 200 to 300, they almost stop. Yeah, like a gator almost is what the kind of thing. Oh, 100%, like, yeah. they, they get to their size. Because if you look at a 200 pound hog and a 100 pound, 120 pound hog, their frame is very similar. But a 200 pounder just gets big and then North of 200, they just start getting really fast. Yeah. So that's been cooking now for, I'd say like 20 minutes. And you want to drain it off just like that. That's nothing but fat back straight off the hog. Mm. It has like crunch to it. Mm. Yes, sir. It's amazing. You would never think that in a million year, years, would you? I'll start saving that piece of meat. Well, yeah. 
Hold on, Bob. Okay. You said a piece. <laughs> Remember he cooked that for me? That has <laughs> the most amazing flavor. Wow. Is that good? Let's see if you know. <laughs> From the dang dog! <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome chain right there, buddy. Yeah. The bigger hogs, let's say a 200 pounder or 300 pounder, yeah. starts to have a lot of fat on the back. You get that cold, flake off, and just cut strips and fry it up. It's amazing. Hey, I'll save it. This is Hunting Camp. And we appreciate you being a part of it. Um, it's late. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. But first, I want to tell you, thank you for being here and, and hang out to the very end. Take care. God bless. And we are gone.